What's up, my people? Welcome back to the episode two of Headaches and Heartbreaks. Alongside with me, we got a special guest, one of the flyest motherfuckers doing it. <laughs> he might take your woman and might take your man. Both of them. Both the of fresh, them. the fly, Mr. Dante Martin. What's up? Man, how you doing, man? What's up? I feel like I haven't seen you forever, man. I'm excited man. to be here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How you feeling? Because you crazy. I'm crazy? Uh-huh, and I know it's about to be crazy. I, I think you're a little crazy yourself, my man. No? <laughs> <laughs> nah, so how was your day, man? It was cool. Went to work. You know, I'm still a regular nigga right now. Okay, regular. You know, nine to five. Okay. Shit like that. I'm like eight to four. Mm-hmm. But I get that late and I leave early, so whatever. Um, But it was cool. Typical black people shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. But uh yeah, I went to work and now I'm here okay. trying to see what you want to talk about. We're gonna talk about some stuff, but before that, go ahead and let the people know where they can find your social media. At So Crown is my Twitter, my face no, my Twitter, my Snapchat at So Crown, S O C R O W N D and Twitter, I mean Facebook, Dante Martin. But don't follow Facebook. I'm born on Facebook. Follow Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram. So crown. Okay, you popping on there? Yeah, yeah. You got popping, I'm popping at work. I'm popping okay. right here. Okay. Popping on social I media. Feel I feel you. Okay, that's what's up. Dope, dope. All right, man. Like, when did we first meet? At work. At work, okay. Yeah, I don't know when how, it was. How would you say, like, our first interactions were? You think we liked each other? No, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. No. Nah. I, I don't know I th- what the fuck so was what do you wrong think? with you. What do you think and, but I didn't like you. I'm going to just tell you that now. I didn't like you. I okay. thought you was weird as hell. Okay. And anybody that could be around somebody for four hours straight and not say uh-huh. a single word but look at them, mm-hmm. that's fucking creepy. Okay, so you thought I was a creep. Thought huh? you were. <laughs> okay. That's more of me being an introvert, right? Yeah, I guess so. I learned. It was you being an introvert. I can say it was, uh, I don't know if I liked you as much either, you know what I'm saying? You being so outgoing and just coming to the room, just saying like random shit, you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But um, I feel like I grew to like you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're an awesome person now, man. Yeah, whatever. Like you're (laughs) super cool, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to be around you, fucking conversations and everything like that, you know, building the relationship. You trying man. to just take away from the fact that you was weird as fuck in the beginning. That's what <laughs> nah, doing. Nah, I'm not going to take away from the fact that I was an introvert. I know? guess so. But we were legit be in a lunchroom, and I got to a point with saying shit that I know was funny to try to get this motherfucker to laugh. And he would just sit there. He'll chuckle a little bit and wouldn't say nothing. They'll be like, Devin, you want some of this? Mm. <laughs> that's how loud he talked for the first four months of me knowing him. Um, but you would say shit and purposely look at me to try to get me to laugh. Yeah, right? like be a human. That is a human. I don't know you motherfuckers, first of all, so I got to get to know you before. Well, you best to get to know us soon because we got to see each other Monday through Friday. We see each other more than you probably see your family. Probably. But then what happened once I came out my show? How you feel? You was cool. I ain't gonna say what happened so, when you came out your shell, but nah, it took some we can things talk to about come it. out your shell. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of those things? Let's talk about I it. I didn't really know you until you started dating my friend. Oh. Yeah, that. Oh, we taking it there, huh? No, nope, we ain't even got to. Okay, we ain't gonna take it there. Cool. But I would say that um, that was some pretty fun times, though, in those relationships. So, no, know? seriously. We had some pretty fun times. Yeah, he crazy as we, hell. We had some fun times at the beach, you know? Totally. Uh-huh. Devin met all my hoes. All, all of them. All of I watched them. this man leave a hoe to walk all the way back <laughs> to the car from the beach. Didn't even give him the chance to talk to him. Just gave him a, I don't even know if you gave him a hug. Mm-mm. I don't too much like hugs too much. Not on the beach. It's too much saying and shit. You yeah, know? but that's crazy. How you invite somebody to the beach? Make them bring you something. Well, he irritated me on the way to the beach. Like, you don't want to pay for parking? Come on. Like, that's embarrassing in front of my friends. Who cares? That's fucked up. Like, you made him walk all the way back to his car. That's crazy. What was I supposed to do? Walk with him? We park closer. I mean, what was I supposed to say? Hey, you could have. Friend, can you drop him off to his car? No, that's inconveniencing her. Like, he I, ain't parked that far. He wasn't, the, he, he wanted to walk to the beach. Like true, so. true. For all the hoes out there that are considered dating Dante, um, just be aware, okay, guys. That's not, yeah. Be aware. Just be aware. He's very, uh, he's very different. I would say, but at the same time, he's a cool guy. So, hit his line. Follow him on Snapchat, Instagram. Just don't him. hit me. <laughs> like it's okay. Not at all. It's okay. Okay. I don't think I'm ready. You ever been like you when you know you're not ready? 
Oh, yeah, we're going to get into that okay. a little bit later. Okay. But first thing I wanted to get into was a little bit about family. You understand what I'm saying? And I just wanted to know, like, where are you guys from? So, like, where's your family from? We are originally from Chicago. Chicago? Yeah, my grandparents is from the South, though, but, like, they gave birth to their kids and everything here. So, it's okay. Chicago, Illinois, that's where we from. Any um, particular son? Um, so... When I was growing up, we lived, like, in the, the southwest side, like, around 79th and Lawndale, that area. But mm-hmm. we also, like, hung out in the hood parts often because my parents was deep in that life. Okay, so you were in the hood. so, yeah, okay. we just didn't. They believed in keeping the home away from what they do. So right. we lived the opposite side of town, and we hung out on the opposite side of town. Okay, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Okay, so when you say us, like, how many siblings do you have? I, it's eight of us all together, although we didn't all grow up in one household together. But we spent many summers in one household or plenty weekends in one household. But, yeah. So a lot of a mixture of you guys or Definitely. girls or boys or what? Mostly girls. I grew up with, uh, it was me, my my older sister, me, and then my brother. But that was my mom kids. Then my dad had all girls and just me. So, like. During the week, I would be with my mom, man. It's just with my sister and my brother. I got one sister, one brother. And then we grew up and had a little sister, but we all grown, and she's still 17. She's way younger. Uh, But on my dad's side, it was just all girls and then me. Okay. Yeah. So it's all girls and then one little brother? One. I was the big brother. Well, I, was I, was, you, I was calling you the big sister. No. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was doing. Sorry about that. So I wanted to get into, um, so does your family own a church? Yeah, my granddad, he got a heat on the church. He a bishop. My grandfather, I mean, my grandmother is the pastor. Okay. Yeah. So how did that work out when, you know, like letting them know, like, like when you came out and everything? So it was weird. It was real weird. Like, I was like real bad in high school. Like, when I say bad, like straight else bad, like just didn't care because my sister was going there before me. Okay. And she was in this popular gang. My mom used to let them come over. And have parties in the basement of the house. So I knew everybody. So I went up in Simeon like, whoa, I'm in there. I knew how to dress, like, Kate, like whatever. Yeah. That's all I went for. Okay. I was the only freshman they didn't fuck with. I was the only openly gay dude that they didn't fuck with. It was just like whatever. And her boyfriend, like, everybody was scared of him in the school. So um, he would protect me. Everybody thought that was my big brother. So they wouldn't really fuck with me. But uh, I was real bad in school. My grandma got over it. And it was senior year, and I was scared to tell them that in order to graduate, they would have to pay all this type of money for after school, American school, all this. So, like, I decided to, like, just run away one night, and I typed up a letter. It was so dramatic. (laughs) (laughs) It was so dramatic. I typed up a letter, and, like, in the midst of the letter, I guess I felt emotional, although I knew I was being dramatic, so Uh I started crying. So, like, I would let the teardrops fall on the letter, (laughs) and then I would circle the teardrops, like, see, this is one of my (laughs) tears. But, and so I uh, I ran away, and this dude came and got me. Okay. And then the next morning, I didn't go to school because I knew they was going to find me. Duh. Mm-hmm. That's not smart. Right. So I uh, went to my auntie house because she was a cool aunt. She wasn't going to tell nobody nothing. She like, come over here. She knew I was safe or whatever. They kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. And I just didn't want to be at my auntie house no more. So I just answered the phone for my daddy, and he came pick me up. And we was in the car, and he was just like... What's going on? Why are you what, right. like, what's up? And I was just like, nothing. And I okay, I forgot what excuse I came up with, but he was like, Are you doing this because you gay? And I would just look at him. Dropped the bomb on you. Huh? Yeah. Damn. And he was like, I just don't. He was like, for one, I don't care. I'm your daddy. Like, I don't care about none of that. Right. All that. You still my son. If anybody ever call you a fag or anything like that, let me know. I'll fuck them up. Like, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Because I was really, like, scared for him. Because he was right. a gangster and all that shit. And my uh, my grandparents was a pastor and real religious. And I'm just like, how am I supposed to tell my daddy that his only fucking son, the nigga that's supposed to be playing basketball and shit with him, <laughs> is gay? And uh, he just asked me. And I was just like, yeah, whatever. Sure. Yeah, that's what I am. I mean, that's dope that you could have been honest with him at that yeah. time. Yeah. You know? And I went home. I was living with my grandparents at the time. And so I finally went home. And after being gone for three days, and so my grandparents wanted to talk to me in the living room, so they sit down. So my granddad like, what's up? Like, 
what's going on? And so uh, I came up with some bullshit excuses mm-hmm. of why I was doing it. And he was just like, if you're, if you, uh, if you doing this because you you can't be yourself, then just let me know. And, uh, or if you this is really not you, and I'm just like, what do you mean, mm-hmm. really not me? Right. And he never really said it, but I knew he was talking about. It. So eventually, he was like, is this you? Because if it's not, then we can go get you some help. But if this you, let us know so you can live your life and we can know what to do. And my grandma like, yeah, like I would never love you no less. I probably love you more. You could just tell us. And um, I told them, yeah, and. They like put it together, like, oh, so your boyfriend with the dude who at the house every day, mm-hmm. your best friend, they put everything together and it was like whatever. I mean, that's pretty dope yeah. though, like coming from like a family who's like deep into the churches and everything like that. Because mm-hmm. typically, like black families and church, like that shit usually doesn't mix, you know what I'm saying? Like they're real judgmental about it. I was it. very scared. Like, I bet. Yeah. That'd be terrifying, man. But it was one time I was in Can church. You for that. Oh, thanks. So. I was in church, and, the, uh, you know, when they prophesy over you, they call you up, and they want to tell you what God said and everything. And uh-huh. so this was the first time I ever, like, realized that somebody, well, that I guess that they in a the church said it about me being <laughs> gay. So he, like, whispered in my ear and was just like, I pray the gay off of you and this and that. And I was just like, oh, shit, they didn't call on in the church. So, them. yeah, so I was like, uh, I had this girlfriend too at the time. Because I always knew I liked dudes and dudes were attractive, but I never act on it because I still was doing girls. I act on girls. I guess that was just the normal thing to do. So you were only doing it just for the norm. It wasn't, you I weren't really, physically attracted really, to women I really, really liked her though. No, I was attracted to them because it was multiple girls, but this particular one, that was my girlfriend for a long time. I was like really, 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 really attracted to her. And so I was just like, when they found out that I was like gay at the church, I was like, well, let me just go overboard. So we kind of got like, she got pregnant, but it was a sophomore year. What? Yeah. And, but she got abortion because she didn't want to tell her parents. I didn't want to tell her ass no more. So she got abortion. So nobody knew until now. So that was, but was this all bef- like after you, like, or before? This was before I came out to my parents, but after the dude at the church told me uh-huh. that he knew I was gay when he was praying it off for me. Okay. So that was like the next step to try to convince people that I wasn't right. or, you know, <laughs> whatever. But Beating cheeks. I don't think I really knew that I was for real either because I didn't mm-hmm. have the desire to like, I was like, oh, man, the dude is cute. It wasn't like, let me go do him. But um, So you were attracted to both, but you just didn't know which yeah. way you wanted to really go with yeah. that. Like, yeah, but yeah, my family is very supportive, all of them, That's even my brother. My brother said he's really a thug, a thug and all that, but he mm-hmm. said he'll come to my wedding if I have a sissy section. So I'm proud of that. Okay, like, that's he, he can be in his own section. That's what's up. That's cool. Do you feel accepted by friends? Like, were your friends like very accepted of it or what? All my friends kind of knew. They was more so shocked that, like, the whole time me and this dude was together, mm-hmm. and they didn't know because they didn't find out till like, we was together for, like, a year or something before. Uh, but they was cool, except my best friend, Sierra. She was, like, mad, but she was more so mad. She didn't talk to me for, like, two weeks because I didn't tell her. It wasn't because I was gay. Right. It was like, it from her. you didn't tell me this big secret. We best friends. Mm-hmm. Like, that was that. But, every, like, I've been blessed to have... Uh, big support system and nobody really fucked me on my sexuality okay yeah did um so you never had to cut any friends off because of it like everybody's just been cool no not because i was gay no not really okay no i even got like it's crazy i got a lot of straight male friends that call me we text we just be regular like it's cool right like i facetimed you today yeah and most people think that's really weird but it's just like the fuck. that's crazy yeah, I feel like you're a dope person, man. Thanks. It's not about what you what you are, like what you like. I'm not sleeping with you, or you, I'm not sleeping with the person you're sleeping with. So why does it matter, you know? That means a lot to me because I feel like I'm a dope person too. Yeah, I I got a question though. Like, do you think that you're born gay, or like it just like certain circumstances in life like turn you to that direction? So the thing I want to know is when you say born gay, because I feel like you're not actually gay until you commit the act. You but like oh well I mean yeah, what so I mean like, like attracted like so attracted to the opposite sex rather than say gay I feel like yeah you always have to be attracted to the opposite sex like I think you're born with that yeah I feel like yeah I believe that too but I think I think I, like both yeah. sides I feel like um 
some people are actually born like at a seven, like five years old. You can't help that you're attracted to another man. You know but I, mean? I personally believe so I think, like everybody, and this just could be me and my beliefs and what I think. But I believe <clears throat> that everybody on earth had a thought about being with the same sex. That's before. false. <laughs> that's, I just personally, I personally <laughs> believe that they, they had a little thought in their head. And just because you have a thought, that don't mean you gay. So you can't really say you were born gay or something until you committed the act. I would definitely feel gay if I thought of another man like that. Okay. I can see. But I, I get I get your point of view, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, some, some dudes might be like, oh, he's kind of attractive, you know? Yeah. And that's just it. But that's not the same, though. Like, saying, like, another guy looks like, oh, that's a handsome guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's the same as, like, that's true. I want to do this dude. You know? That's true. So. That's true. I guess. So, you think that you can be born... Yeah, you can be born gay. Some are born gay. Some okay. are like turned out. I don't believe that just because if you're gay at thirty that you always was gay all your life. Things happen. I really believe that. So have you ever tried to turn anybody out? No, I'm really like, I'm scared at that, and I don't approach people. It's like if you want to talk to me or if it's gonna happen, you gotta come to me. I'm not brave like that. I'm brave in other ways, but not like approaching people because i'm crazy as fuck and if you reject me i don't know what's gonna happen like i'm not saying i want something to happen i don't know what's gonna happen so you used to get in your way yeah so you'll spoil a little brat that's what it is huh? i mean i don't like saying it that way but you know nowadays i say blessed <laughs> okay that's what's up uh i can remember a particular time where you did have to cut somebody off you do yes who is that specifically tell me um, I can't remember the name. Not that I want to name drop anyway, but uh, we were at a mutual friend's house. Uh huh. Um, Uno was involved. Uh huh. A couple of drinks were. Uh huh. If you know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. I remember that day. <laughs> okay. You wanna do you wanna go ahead and tell them like what the story was about? Um. Yeah. So, <laughs> are you talking about a homeboy? <laughs> yes, your home. The um. Yeah, yeah, homeboy, the voice, homeboy. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we just chilling. Uh, well, I wake up one day and I'm like, my friends like, come over. We gonna uh, have some drinks, play some games. We just gonna chill. Come over. All right. Devin's over here. They was talking at the time, and you know, I, I was with who I was talking to at the time. And come over. I think I don't know if. Kendra but I wasn't was, there at first though. You, you, you guys right, are you right. There. You, she knew up. that you was coming though. Right. right yeah. Right, I yeah. Up. She Surprise. said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that Devin was coming. But she doing, She was like, I got a surprise for you. I got a surprise for you. And I was just like, what the fuck is this surprise? So I'm thinking, like, more weed, just anything. She like, it's a person. So I'm like, it got to be Kendra. Like, I love Kendra. She loves Kendra. Kendra's fun. Shout like, out to Kendra. It got to be Kendra. And, um... She uh she like nope your surprise come I get there I'm like what's my surprise hands out like who is it what is it and uh she like your surprise coming later I'm like fuck so by that time the blunts get to going the drinks get to going and we I, I forgot about the surprise mm -hmm. but a motherfucking opened a person opened the door and walked in it scared the shit out of us because I'm like who the fuck is coming everybody here and it was his ass and Brittany like <laughs> surprise. And Indeed, I was just baby. like, this is a surprise, huh? So the person that I was with, Devin played all the time. Everybody know he plays all the time. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, he be here coming under my Instagram picture just saying something crazy and off the wall. So homeboy like, oh. So today you see surprising niggas. <laughs> so be, me being me, after I'm already drunk and shit, I like for everybody to be on the level that I'm on. So he walked through the door. I'm like, Devin, you want to drink? He like, yeah, I have. No, Brittany was like, tell, De uh, tell Devin to drink because uh, he probably a drink if you tell him to. You you good at pressuring people to do stuff. So Very I'm like, pressure. you want to drink? You want to drink? He's like, no, nah. I'm like. Just have a little bit. And then he's like, all right. And he was like, go make it. So I got up and make it. So the nigga, the dude that I was with, like, he like looking like, really? Oh, so you making niggas drinks now with shit the whole time. And so after that, fast forward to when we get home, it was the biggest fucking blow up ever. It was just like, he came through the door. She talking about surprise. And he just looking at me like it became a whole story of Devin was staring at him the whole night. You know, niggas be just hey, making up stories. He gave me that look like, like he wanted to fight me, though. 
For sure, he did. And I'm just like, Total bro. mood change. I can tell by the way he was eating that little lettuce. He's like, you ain't wash my lettuce off, nigga? Remember that part? He's mad because the lettuce <laughs> wasn't on. I'm like, that nigga's lettuce, bro. <laughs> he did. Yeah, yeah. And you know, Devin an asshole, so he keep calling him out. Every time he fuck up in the game or something, Devin going to make it. He going to maximize the situation and make it worse than what it is. And he just hated him. So we had an argument and we stopped talking because, yeah, Devin. My That's home. the dopest shit, though, man. Like, I'm a reason for a breakup. It's fucked up, but it's kind of dope, though. Like, two men broke up because of me. And you ain't even gay. That's weird. That shit dope, though. But I feel I feel honored, though. That's some, like, that's some bucket list type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this man felt threatened by me somehow. Just over a comment on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But it turns out he's just that type of person because I'm pretty popping. And Wait, anybody. let me stay up here, bro. Don't fucking try to bring me down, bro. Let you me stay right, up here. You're right. You're right. I'm you're that, right, you're right, I'm that right, popping right, that he felt that even though we were at a friend's house, like, that I was on that type of time. You're right. It's kind of dope. You're right. Yeah. But I wanted to get into, um, since we're on that topic, to uh, casual relationships and romantic relationships. And... I want to ask you, which one do you prefer? What's your definition of casual? Casual, meaning as in friends with benefits, or it might not even be sex. Like, you guys could just be hanging out. Oh. On the, you know, like somebody you like hang out with, you, yeah. wanna, you might want to go to the movies, might want to go smoke with them or something yeah. like that, just chill with them. Yeah. But it also can be sexual at the same time. Yeah. At this point in time in my life, because I said before, I'm not ready, I prefer uh-huh. casual. Okay, casual. Yeah. It's cool because you don't have no obligations. You don't have no stress, no nothing. We link up. We do whatever it is we do. Mm-hmm. If we don't do anything at all, like we just link up and right. chill just and just up. be together and you go your separate ways and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Like, Is it okay to have more than one person? I like, do, so I to it be gotta like, be. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it got hey, be. I feel you on that too. Hey, once upon a time, I felt the same way, you know? So, well, I mean, yeah, it's pretty dope. I like it though. But I wanted to know um, how was it like being in a relationship with a woman? Like, what's the differences between, what's the differences and similarities of being in a relationship with a woman and a man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, being with, I was young when I was with girls. Like, I stopped doing girls at 17. So, like, I can't remember a lot, a lot, too. Mm-hmm. Be, uh, but being, like, with a woman, you basically have to always be that protector, be that, like, man to go do every fucking thing. Like, fix the tire, pump mm-hmm. the gas, do all that shit. And that's just sometimes I don't want to do that. Take out the garbage. Like, for what, <laughs> bitch? Like, you filled it up more than me. Like, I was gone. Like, right, you right. take out the trash. But that's just the part of being with a woman. I feel like eat, growing up, that's all we really had to do. We had to mop. As a dude, you got to mop the floor. And you got to take out the trash. My sisters, my grandma teach my sisters and them, to, you know, sweep the floors, do the dishes, wipe off the tables, do all that. But we have to do the toilets, too, because that's too germy for girls, you know. I feel like girls um, clean bathrooms way better than guys, though. Yeah, but certain stuff like the, the toilet and then and mopping the floor and taking out the yeah. trash, that's kind of what we have to do. Besides never getting in the bathtub, either. We can only take showers. It's a manly thing. Yep. But so you're saying that just taking care of a woman's feelings and understanding yeah, like her you and just deal taking with care her. of her, just being that man, that manly man that she needs. Yeah. But what about for guys though? Like, do you have to be a manly? I'm pretty sure there's certain men who are more feminine than the others. You know. That's true. But well, however, <laughs> I guess like with the dudes that I talk to, I'm probably the more feminine one. Like, okay. I, I've typically talked to dudes that you probably wouldn't even tell that was gay. Yeah, like the dude the dude we just had a conversation about. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Yeah, Until, like, like, you probably hugged him or something like I that. Like I they, no idea. I like shit, like dudes like that where, like, they're typically the ones that, like, let me fucking drive. Let me, They want to be that protector. They want to be the one that be hands-on because I don't like that shit. So more masculine men. You, you wouldn't like a guy who was... Like a a metrosexual man, kind of, right? Not like them to be with them, no. Like, right. we can, if the sex is good, whatever the case may be, yeah, we'll do that if I'm feeling you and your personality good. But be with them, no. Like, I got to be with somebody that, like, can probably hang with, be around my little brother and my father and I make them feel no type of way. Right. Because they think I'm just a regular dude that, I, I think a lot of people don't think that I'm all the way gay, but I am. 
But depends my, on what Dante you get. True. I mean, it all depends on what Dante That's you get. That's true. Whatever date, like however you feeling, like you get the mad Dante, that that you know it come out. That's but, you know, true. Like, you get to, like just cool, chill, like you just fucking just relaxing, like you'll never know. But uh, yeah. That's how you get you get all the women, huh? I do. You get both I just them. got a woman number the other day. I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna call it's you. Just bitch. Me, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. So you say you had a little brother too, right? Yeah, he's five. I love DJ. Yeah, I see you yep. with him on Snapchat a lot. Yep. It's almost like a father son relationship. Yes, I think he is meant to be my son. Like that was the universe bringing me a child because I'm not gonna have one. Yeah. Probably never, unless my mom deal with pissing in the bed and doing it. I don't got time for all that shit. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. I feel you. But that's pretty dope, though, man, to have, like, that little person in your life and, you know, just kind of, like, yeah. calm you down. And it kind of makes me better. Room. Like, I promise you, I do everything for him now. Like, mm-hmm. every single thing, because I know this little boy, like, love me, and he really look up for to me. Like, right. and I know it for a fact, and I feel it. And so I got to be a better person for him. And I don't want him to ever have to work when he get my age. Like, I'm sorry, I'm that type of person. I don't care about responsibility. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to set my little brother and my nieces and nephews up for They just grow up and live their life and don't have to worry about finances and shit. And places to rent and all that bullshit. Yeah, like, I mean. I feel the same way for my son, man. I'm trying to just do different things, trying to find something. Yeah. Something he might even pick up, you know, after me. But just to. Be able to understand like the world a business are... or something, dude. Because fucking, I mean, I went to college and everything like that, and the only thing it really did. I mean, I have a good job, but I mean, there's so much fucking debt. Though. No, like, we was cramming school. We was always cram, scram school, 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 right, school, right. school, school, and it's just like <clears throat> school ain't really doing the most nowadays. It, like it ain't bringing that. It's like kind of getting out of high school and just going straight into work. Mm-hmm. Like that's something that we kind of need to be doing or. Trying to figure out how we can own different things. Like that. mm-hmm. So that'd be, that's pretty dope. The world getting crazy enough, so I don't want to have, like, finances and just stupid stuff burdened down, like, them bur- being a burden on right. them. You know, I find, like, it was really fucked up, though. Like, how we go to college, but then, like, we don't, we can't get out of college and get a job that um, could pay for our, like, student loans. Mm-hmm. Like, why is I'm in, like, $60,000 worth of debt, but I can't get a job that's, you know, that pays me $60,000 right mm-hmm. away so I can try to at least take care of it, you know? And then they don't want to hire you because you're fresh out of college right. and you have no experience. And it's too much competition. Yeah. It's just crazy. But I kind of wanted to end with some um, some um, questions for you. Okay. You know, just a little quick wrap of questions. It's just one answer, like mm-hmm. one question answers, all right? Okay. So um, what do you prefer, uh, texting or talking? It depends on the person. But I would say texting. So texting, okay. Yeah. What's your favorite day of the week? My favorite day of the week is Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. For church? No, because that's when I see my niece and nephews, but because all the good reality shows come on that day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, it's a whole, I don't watch too much a whole lineup of great shows you could just lay back and smoke and just relax and just chill before you start the week. Like that love and hip-hop shit? Shit like that, a little bit, yeah. You like the ratchet shit, <laughs> yeah. huh? <laughs> okay, help me. That's what's up, that's what's up. So, your favorite city in the U.S. besides the one you're living in now? Miami. Miami. Mm-hmm. Any specific reason? Because you just, everybody is just free. It's like warm all the time. It's shirtless dudes, like topless bitches. Anybody you want to see, you will probably I see. I've never been to Miami. But you, you need ooh. to go. Dude. Okay. I'm telling you, like just everywhere. And like the bitches body right because it's in Miami. You're going to be on the beach. Through. So you okay. got to have abs. You got to be right. I got to get in that gym now. Yeah. And it was because of King of Diamonds, but they closed that down. So whatever. Okay, okay. So what was your nickname your parents used to call you when you were little? Tay. Tay. Mm-hmm. Dante. Simple Typical, as that? Yeah. Tay Pock. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my adult name. Okay. Yeah. I hated Tay, though. I hate that name. It's, it's, yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah. It sounds stupid. But everyone called me that, so whatever. I, yeah, I feel like it's stupid, like how your first name is spelled. I don't like it. Oh, okay. But, you know, my middle name is Dante, though, so. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> 
I mean, well, mine just spelled better. So, you know. No, I don't understand that. Like, you're spelled the correct Dante, D A N T E. Like, yeah, how but it's does like that? A, it's an accent. You know what the accent is? Do you know what the accent yeah, is? It's like, a, it's like a, a little apostrophe type of thing <laughs> on top of the E. Yeah. So, Dante, it's like, it's kind of like it's French. I get it from my slave masters and shit. That's cool. Yeah. That's the story they told you? I mean, I'm pretty sure. How do you know? Because my last name is a fucking white man. Because so you got an accent on it. Yeah, it's an accent. Gotcha. It's, it's like Dante. Yours is just Dante. Yeah. Stupid. Mine's have a little right there. You know what that is? An accent. It looked like hmm. like Spanish word or some hmm. shit, you know? So we're from the same place then, huh? I guess so. Where the fuck we from we're again? Because <laughs> I don't know we're what French. you just So we're basically like Haitians because, you know, like French, black people, Haitian. Mm. Cool. All right. Hot or cold? Cold. Cold. Your favorite place to go is Miami, and you're going to pick cold? Because I prefer to be cold over high. I just like Miami because of the shirtless dudes and the big breast bitches. Like, damn, I didn't say shit about the weather. That's, That's it. <laughs> <Just people. laughs> okay, okay. But you say you got to have your body right because it's warm. So that means that because you fucking I, like warm, bro. No, I don't like warm. I'm going for the people. So you going just to look at yes, nipples I and titties? You, yes, you yes. One freaky when I went to Miami bro. with Kendra and Brady. That's one freaky <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, you want a little nasty freaky one. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Remind me of me. Mm-hmm. That's the type of shit I talk about. That's crazy. But I prefer okay. to be cold because okay. when you can add layers, add, add layers, oh. and make yourself comfortable. When you fucking hot, you gonna hot, what are you going to do? It's sad. It's over with after that. Mm-hmm. I feel you on that. Okay. This is going to be a controversial one. Um, Beyonce... Or Rihanna. Beyonce, what are you talking about? Controversial. I don't know. Ain't no controversy. This you don't Beyonce, think so? Beyonce, Beyonce. People make it controversial, but I'm here to let everybody in America know. Ain't okay. no controversy. It's Beyonce. <laughs> Rihanna is amazing. I love her, but they like just stop comparing it's, Beyonce it's to levels. anybody. It's two different levels. Beyonce worked. Yes. Yeah, she so been you, around. You need to respect Talk that Beyonce. shit. No, I respect to Talk that shit. No, What's you don't respect her. Because if you didn't million respect or 60 million. Beyonce, you wouldn't have sat here and asked me that question. I asked a, I asked a young lady uh, a couple I am done with a couple this. hours ago. Let's go. I'll just say. <laughs> I asked a lady a couple hours ago. I'm like, uh, pick for um, Beyonce or Rihanna. She said, um, it's, it's too hard. Like She said it's too hard. But I don't know how you can compare. Like, Beyonce's been around so long. She's so legendary. And that's what I'm saying. Be- Rihanna is amazing. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love Rihanna. Like, I, think, I would I think support Rihanna her looks whatever. Better. However, Beyonce put in that work, put in that time. She's, like, done it all. Tell so me, what, you $4 million gotta, or what? She, she flipped it, what? Yeah, she flipped $4 million to make $60 million. Like, $4 million to $60 million. That's amazing. But she, but Rihanna only had, she just went to go get with a guy, right? With the billions? I mean, and that's cool See, she for ain't her. Have to work for that's her, bro. cool for her too. She's a real champ. You're no. What do you call a real champ? It. I'm just, well, she with a billion that Beyonce and her couple, to, they, they power couple. They are they billions already. Like yeah, fair. whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm not about to argue with Beyonce. <laughs> All right, who is you? Um, who is one person you would like to trade lives with for one day? One person I would love to trade lives. Anybody with. Hmm. Hmm. I think I will probably fucking trade lives with Beyonce's daughter. Any one of them. Pick one. The daughter, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait. Why a uh, um, Is that, not, child, is that crazy or something? Yeah, it is crazy because if you can trade lives with anybody, I would think Let that you won't be something. an adult. Blue Ivy is living the best of the best life. Your mom, your mom is Beyonce. Your father is Jay-Z. You're rich already for the rest of your life. You never have to work if you don't want to work. However, anytime you walk outside the house, they scream your name as if you're your mother or father. Come on, that's fucking lit. It's not, though, because you're a child, bro. You don't get to enjoy what adults get to enjoy. You're going to be playing with Barbie dolls and shit. And that's fine. I eventually grow up. I no, well, for one day, bro. Oh, one day. That's cool. So that's you still cool. pick the child? Yeah, I'm an adult right now. And okay. I've, I've been blessed to be, you know, to go to different things that celebrities and shit be at. They don't really be on shit. It's just their name. That's why I hype it up. Their name and their, their money. That's the only thing. Okay. But, like, they don't really be on shit. They regular people. I want to be the daughter. I want to have no stress, no worries, and still be fucking lit. Like... Okay. Okay, Dante is? Dante is the man. The man. Yeah. Okay. The man. 
Okay. You like that? That's dope. I don't know. You stuck like a little that. bit. Uh, <laughs> you even know. <laughs> I like that. That's dope. Okay. All right. So when all said and done, what do you want people to remember you for? Like, I just want to be remembered, like, just being happy and having fun. Like, I I try to make pe- everyone I come in contact with laugh, just, like, smile, be goofy, just be, like, li- live your life, be live. Just don't be stressing about shit you don't want, you can't control. Like, just whatever. Take on life. It's life. Like, shit's going to happen. You just got to deal with it and move on. Okay. Don't let shit hold you back. Yeah. And I want to be one of the people that, like, that you remember, like, damn, he brought me through this time. Or he encouraged me to be this happy. Or, you know, shit like that. Or if you don't remember nothing, just remember when you was around me, we had the best fun of our life. Yeah, but... I do appreciate you coming on here, man. No problem. Having a good conversation with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, Stay tuned for episode three of Headaches and Heartbreaks. We out. I am what I am today because I did it my way. Nothing y'all can say. In this life or the next.